Hi, my name is Ray Pastor, and today I'm going to show you how to change your skin color or give yourself a tan if you've taken a picture and you just want to add some color to your face or anywhere on the picture. You can use this technique for a number of different things, but today I'm just going to show you specifically how to do that. So I have this picture of myself and my son. This was taken several years ago, and let's say I look at this picture and I think to myself, you know, I look better with just a little more sun. This was taken in the fall after summer, and I just, you know, lost some of my color, and let's say I want to change it. So how do I give myself a little bit of color? All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually zoom in on my face. Now for this example, I'm going to do this rather quickly, so I'm not going to make it 100% perfect, because it'll take a little longer for you to play around with it and make it a little more perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually look at my face and figure out what color I want to change it to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the dropper tool. And I am going to select the skin on my face. Now, normally I might, I see a couple different shades here, so I might do this several times. But for the example, I'm just going to do it once, so I'm just going to pick more of like a mid-tone color. You can see down here at the bottom of the screen now, that color is selected. I'm going to click on that color because what I want to do is I want to match the color that I'm changing my face to um, to what my face really is because I want it to be realistic. I don't want to use some odd color. So you can see I'm in this like, I can make it, I'm probably going to go down diagonal a little bit, make it a little darker. There was the current color and there's the new color. And I can keep doing this depending on how real or not I want to do this. I'll put it here. This is going to be pretty dark, probably a little darker than I'd like. I usually just do this very slowly. Um, so that I get the color I really want. But for the example, I want this to be a pretty extreme example. I'm going to click OK. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to select either my pencil or my brush tool. For this example, I'll just use the pencil. I'm going to get a good size brush that's going to color in my face. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this is an OK size for this example. This will work just fine. Then I'm going to go over to my opacity and I'm going to make sure that it's really low because I want to do this in steps. I don't want this to be huge. If I just go to 100% opacity, look what happens. Look at that. I'm coloring over my face. That's not what we want to happen. So I'm going to go down to probably like 15%, maybe 20%, and now I'm going to color. You can barely tell I'm doing anything right now. But watch when I do this several times. Now, normally I would zoom in even further and use a smaller brush and I would try, you know, not to go over my eyes, make sure I'm covering everything. For this example, that doesn't matter. I don't need to do that. I'm going to even raise my opacity up to 20% here. Just for the example, I want this to be a greater effect. Oops, I got a little bit on my hair. I need to redo that. I just undid it by pressing Control Z. Okay holding down the mouse and I'm painting, I'm basically painting on my face. I don't even know if I need to do one more round. Let me just see. Yeah, I'll do one more. Got on my hair again. I had to undo that. Now keep in mind, this is an example. I'm trying to do this really fast for you guys. Normally I would zoom in, I would choose a smaller brush, I might choose several different colors, and this is going to, a process that for a face would take me about 30 minutes. I'm trying to do this in two minutes. Okay, let's zoom out to 100%. Okay, there's the normal picture now. Now, let me show you history. I'm going to go to Window, History. Okay, so here's my face in the new picture that I just took. Here's the face before. Before after before after before after now i did this that really fast but you can see it changed the skin color in my face quite a bit all right thank you